Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name. Inshallah, amen. And for those of you that are subscribed, I pray may God grant you your desire this year in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. My lovely fans, Judy Austin and her family, they are daring themselves. Judy Austin and her family, they are starting a battle that they cannot end. They have started a battle with Ugezu J. Ugezu. <laughs> My people, we all know that Ugezu J. Ugezu has never go to look for Judy Austin and her family trouble. This man never go find them. Neither have this man go look for Judy Austin and her family trouble. This man is only helping the Edoche family to get back to their resource when he be say they abandon their ancestors. It was Judy Austin that planted things in their compound spiritually when he be say he can't make the Edoche family conscience to vegetable Judy Austin almost can they rule all of the head. Thanks to Ugezu J Ugezu when he be say na he feel free the Edoche family. Now my people Judy Austin is angry because he, according to Judy Austin he said this man they block away. He said, Ugezu J Ugezu, they stand on our way. He said, Ugezu J Ugezu is fighting against her. That Ugezu J Ugezu should move on from the Edoche family. That he has nothing to do with the Edoche family. My people, Ugezu J Ugezu don't want you. They also say, any message when he passed to the Edoche family, no one they come from her. He is not a native daughter. A lot of people don't know what is a spiritualist. A lot of people will come to you when you are a spiritualist, thinking that you can see tomorrow, you can see next tomorrow. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You are a spiritualist doesn't mean you know tomorrow, you know what will happen. Something just come you the see. That is not a spiritualist. That is a witchcraft. That is witchcraft. If you are a spiritualist, the, the thing will come. When something wants to happen, they will show it to you. It will come on its own. Not be saying now you they go they check. Anything where you don't go they check, they make I say I won't be. That one not be spiritual. They go tell you. They go tell you what to do. That is how spiritual it is. Ugezu J Ugezu did not just wake up and go to and start checking on the Edoche family. It was a message sent to him that he delivered. And they told him this is what you need to do. So my people, Ugezu Ugezu now did what the ancestors of the Edoche family asked him to do for them. But Judy Austin right now don't dare against Ugezu Gezu because a lot of things don't spoil for Judy Austin. Yule Edoche is out of control. Yule Edoche is uncontrollable for Judy Austin now. Judy Austin now, they fear, say, make Yule Edoche no control when I'm for outside. <laughs> make Yule Edoche no call abandon now for outside, my people. This is the same thing where you made you the Austin, they call Ugezu J. Ugezu say, make you remove van for the Edoche family. You know, if somebody wants to attack somebody, the first thing they do is that they go and look for where your helper is. They will look for your helper. If they don't look for your helper, they will look from your resources. <laughs> where you they get your power, where they will try to bring you down there. But let me tell you something. Anybody that is trying to bring you down, they only bring themselves down when you know who you are. When you know where you stand. That's why they say don't play with somebody that is a spiritualist. Because by the time you temper them, you are, top, you are tempering the universe. By the time you do anything against somebody that is a spiritualist, you are tempering with the universe. Be you any spirit you possess. If you see anybody where be spiritualist, leave them. Just give them gap. Let them be where they are. Because tempering with them is like you are tempering with the universe, the ground where you pull leg, the air where you they breathe, the trees where they look you. You are tempering with all those things. So this is the reason why Ugezu J Ugezu they want you the Austin say, don't let me cry out. Because the battle when this man battle with Judy Austin and, her, and his family yesterday, it was not a small battle. According to the information, though, they said last night in Ugezu J Ugezu compound. It was a serious battle. Thank God that this man not be ordinary man. Not be ordinary man. Judy Austin and the mother, the, the sister, the grandmother, all of them visited Ugezu Ugezu home yesterday night. We all know that Judy Austin, the rituals when they say make it do, she don't do one. 
But the only problem they have now is that how to convince Yule Doshi to follow them to do the Austin grandmother shrine when they go work for Yule Doshi head. Because right now, no amount of charm when they go give Yule Doshi when you go work the way they work the beginning. Now the charm, if you work one week, it go expire. They need to be that means they go, they travel, they go, Enugu, they come back to Abuja, Enugu, they come back to Abuja, just for Judy Austin to keep you Ledoshe. So the only solution is for them to bring you Ledoshe. May they mark him for his head. They go carry razor blades. They go do the charm. They go mark some secret places in his body. Then they will put the charm. That one are straight to the, <laughs> straight to the soul. Now that one they go. That one go there very hard to spoil. But they very hard to spoil. The only thing where they spoil all those kind of charms. Now, when man sleep with woman when they a period, like you let those now, if they put such a charm on him, the only way those charms will expire, expire immediately. If you let those sleep with a woman that is in a period, that charm does spoil be that. And that one, do they also not go let that happen? <laughs> so, my lovely fans. Because of this whole thing, and they have told them that the person that is making Judy Austin not to have what she wants from Yule Doshi is Ugezu J. Ugezu. They said because that of the Edoshi family, with the charms where the Judy Austin they use, they can bring them down. It's for them to just go to that compound. Spiritually, they will begin to dig and plant things there. They will plant in the graves of their forefathers, in the grave of their great-grandfather, and then they will have powers over the Edoshe family. But with the things that Ugezu, J. Ugezu have done in that compound, Judy Austin and his sister and his family, they no fit do any work for them again. So they decided that no need of attacking Pet Edoshe. Because attacking Pet Edoshe, hmm, Ugezu, J. Ugezu will still come. So let them just attack the roots. Let's uproot the roots. That is what Judy Austin and his family did yesterday. They say, according to the information, they say Ugezu J. Ugezu was in his own house. J. 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 This man begin but did begin give and sign. But did they give and sign? So it, they said he did not sleep. They told him to go and sleep. He said, No, he don't want to sleep. That's he don't feel like sleeping. So this man was sitting on his pallor, and immediately something moving. He went to bring some kind of spiritual things and he was working on his spiritual things. Maybe like cleansing, maybe like all those things. They work on spiritual things. So as they walk, some breeze begin blow. Some wind, they blow. There are some kind of winds that blow that you are not supposed to be inside that wind. Some wind where they blow, some come with bad luck. Some come with heel luck. Some come with bad fortune. Some wind where they blow. Depend on the side is blowing from. So this man feel this wind. It was a negative wind that was blowing. So he said, let him lock the window because he don't feel for it. But he said, this wind not be better one. So he won't lock the window. Lock everywhere. As he won't get up, go lock the window. For through the window, he saw four strange creatures standing in his compound. <laughs> Those four creations were the ones that brought that evil wind. So he locked the window. Even if he see them, he still locked the window. And pretended as if he saw nothing. Yes, that is it. When you have a third eye, when, you have, when your eyes are open, you see a lot of things. You don't fight everybody. You don't start the fight. So he see them. Not be saying not see them, but he locked the window. He went back and sat down. And continue with what he was doing. They said it was then that they start knocking on his door. Knocking, spiritual knocking on his door. Ugezu J. Ugezu refused to open the door for them. They started doing incantations in front of his house. Ugezu Ugezu did not stay answer them because he has not gotten any permission from anybody to tell him, challenge them. The ma was still sitting down. Judy Austin and her family, they come begin, they do incantations for inside the compound. Inside that compound, they put a pot with fire, spiritual pot with fire burning it. 
they come begin they turn the pots <laughs> they turn the pots that is their own incantations they were doing invoking god knows what and saying things they said oh gezu was still sitting down did not reply or answer them they were doing the incantations doing it doing it until something moved Ugezu, Ugezu, pushed him to open the door. Then you know that the power has fallen upon him. Because if you say make you use your own chest, take hit door. <laughs> now you go feel the pain. So by the time those powers came upon him, by the time the spirituality in him arise, this man stood up and he opened the door with boldness. And he came out and said, Judy Austin, what are you doing in my compound? They said to the orphan and the uh, mother, the family that came together, the mother, the sister, and the grandmother, they were still doing their incantations. It was then Ugezu, Ugezu stretched his hand, and the pot where they say they do incantations disappear. My people, the battle, it was not an easy battle. They said the pot, when Ugezu, J Ugezu, where do the orphan they use, say they do incantations. As Ugezu, Ugezu stretched his hand, the pot disappeared. That is the pot they are using to operate. That pot, there are different things inside. As they, they turn around, they turn out. They are doing some kind of evil incantations in Ugezu J Ugezu compound. They say the man stretched and that pot disappeared. Now there Judy Austin charge, tell and say, he warn you. He warn you, my people, in the spirituality, Judy Austin's voice is not a woman voice. That's why I'm doubting Judy Austin. Judy Austin have this kind of voice like a man. When he's speaking in the spiritual world, the demon that is pos the demon that is using Judy Austin eh? now one kind of very strong demonic masculine demon. So according to what he said though, Judy Austin got angry and started telling Ugezu, J Ugezu, that didn't I warn you to stay off the Edoshe family? Why didn't you stay off? Then Ugezu Ugezu challenged Judy Austin. Then what is your connection with the Edoshe family? Judy Austin said she's married to the Edoshe family. Now see as the spiritual life, the battle till they start. You can't attack anybody without knowing that person very well, without having connection with that person. That, that is why when outside that attack you, with only your mouth where you take pray, take talk, that person will collect double. Double you will collect unless say they use person that is close to you. Now Ugezu Ugezu. They are asking him, which connection do you have with the Edoshe family? <laughs> now, Ugezu replied to Judy Austin, you, which connection do you have? I, Ugezu replied to Judy Austin, I was sent by their ancestors. Who sent you? Judy Austin said, he is, she is married to you, Edoshe. Ugezu said, the family did not accept you. The ancestors did not recognize you. The ancestors were not present in your marriage. You are never you are not part of the Edoshe family, and you can never be part of the Edoshe family. My people, they say that they do the Austin provoke, they come begin, they try to throw some kind of evil arrow against Ugezu Gezu. They said that they, they throw the arrow, now so different kind of gods begin stand in the front and wanting to retaliate back to Judy Austin and the family when they see what he stand in front of Ugezu Gezu and things that were standing in his back Judy Austin and the family they have to run away from Ugezu J Ugezu compound my people they say before they go Judy Austin tell and say that she will come back and are coming back to Ugezu Gezu that Ugezu Gezu will not like it so he better remove a hand for anything that have to do with the Edoshe family so my people now this one now Ugezu Gezu pass through. They say later, before the man Fiko enter his house. Now this man have called Judy Austin to warn Judy Austin. Again, no matter what happened, no matter how you try, you see they tell Judy Austin, say, make Judy Austin change. She don't have a lot of time. She don't have a lot of time. Ugezu Ugezu told Judy Austin, you are not fighting against me, but you are fighting against spirits. The land, the gods of the land, and the ancestors of people. This battle you can never win. So, my people, I will end this video here. Ugezu, Gezu. Now, don't you get yourself ready for Judy Austin because a lot of things is going to happen. Judy Austin is not, go, is not going to surrender. That's why I call her no retreat, no surrender. Judy Austin, not the surrender. She's always there to fight to the last. 
She wants to see the end of this battle. And the end will not be good for Judy Austin. So, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. If you know you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name, inshallah, amen. And for those of you that are subscribed, I pray may the light of God shine upon you and your family in Jesus' name, inshallah, amen. Thank you, guys.